rash taking over my body. <laughs> a good rash. Happy Friday, everybody. And it's Friday, so you know what that means. First, let's welcome tonight's guests. Unlike Kathy Hochul, he's actually qualified to be governor. Former New York Congressman Lee Zeldin. <laughs> Still bless your heart and tear your theories apart. Co-host of The Bottom Line on Fox Business, Dagan McDowell. He looks like your favorite Applebee's manager. Co-host of Fox and Friends First, Todd Pyro. And finally, like a flash flood, she shows up where she's not wanted and causes a lot of damage. Fox News contributor, Kat Tim. Yes, those jalapeno poppers were cold, Todd. Applebee's, huh? <laughs> yes. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, before we get to some news stories, it's Friday, so let's do this. Greg's Leftovers. Mm. It's Leftovers, where I read the jokes we didn't use this week. And as always, it's my first time reading them. So if they suck, we will take one of the writers out, strip him naked, and set him on fire. <laughs> All right, here we go. This week in New Jersey, more than 500 pounds of pasta was found mysteriously dumped in the woods. In response, one enraged resident is vowing revenge. <laughs> According to reports, CBS was supposedly losing millions on James Corden's late night show, and that was just on catering. <laughs> the lesbian dating app Her told females who object to dating trans women to delete their accounts and go back to meeting other lesbians the old fashioned way while shopping at Home Depot. <laughs> At least you'll know what equipment you're getting. <laughs> yeah, that came from here. <laughs> a man with a self-proclaimed micro-penis is going viral after revealing how he breaks the news to potential sex partners. The man added, it could be worse. It could be micro-soft. <laughs> I was just bracing for the camera to cut away to me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I thought you were going to take a shot of Todd Pyro. But... I thought that was coming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. New York City police nabbed a smuggler with 300,000 fentanyl-laced pills stashed in the fuel tank of his SUV. Cops say the drugs had a street value of nearly a full tank of gas. <laughs> this week, the Surgeon General declared loneliness and isolation as America's newest epidemic, which is why we invited Todd on the show tonight. <laughs> Two stories early. <laughs> I, I knew it was coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Funny man John Mulaney revealed he was previously offered the hosting slot on The Daily Show, but decided instead to stick with comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Uber has published its annual lost and found list and includes items like a lightsaber, fog machine, pets, fake blood, and teeth. And that was just from one ride with Dana Farino. <laughs> You don't know what she's up to after the shows. <laughs> Nothing good. A federal jury ruled this week that Ed Sheeran did not copy parts of a Marvin Gaye song. However, they did recommend a life sentence for Ed's barber. <laughs> That's pretty bad. And finally, last Saturday, President Biden spoke at the annual White House Correspondents' Dinner. Biden said he had a great time and enjoyed talking to former presidents Nixon and Reagan. <laughs> Ah, lame. <laughs> yeah. Could have been funnier. All right. Did the deep state help Joe Biden's fate? It's true, they signed a bogus letter to elect a pants wetter. <laughs> Newly released emails show former acting CIA director Michael Morell had ulterior motives when he wrote the 2020 letter discrediting Hunter's laptop. And the motives stink worse than Joy Behar's jog bra. Oh. I mean, assuming she jogs. <laughs> oh, wait, there she is.
So, you know the letter. It was signed by 51 former Intel officials claiming the laptop was Russian disinfo, a claim as credible as a Prius winning the Indianapolis 500. It's the biggest lie since if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor, which I told my staff before eliminating their health plan. <laughs> Morell admitted drafting the hoax as a talking point for Joe to use in the debate with President Trump. True, Joe needed all the help you could get with his talking points. Most of the time, he can't talk or point. <laughs> Hell, he needs help with his walking points. <laughs> Morell urged CIA boss John Brennan to sign the letter and admitted he was deliberately trying to help Biden's 2020 campaign. And Brennan immediately reported the corruption to the American public. No, he didn't. Just kidding. <laughs> He said, add my name to the list, good initiative, and thanks for asking me to sign. I bet he blames Russia when he forgets his anniversary. So some of the rank highest ranking Intel officials with obvious political motivations teamed up to help knock the guy they didn't like out of the White House. It was basically a silent coup by the deep state, a swamp deep enough to hold Ted Kennedy's car. Too soon? And while 51 officials played along, some didn't. In fact, the CIA's former Moscow station chief, Daniel Hoffman, refused to sign it because there was no evidence of Russian involvement. And, you know, he's just the former Moscow station chief. What the hell does he know? They should have asked AOC. You know, back in the day, she knew how to pour a decent white Russian. <laughs> I wonder what Joe thinks. No, 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 look. Look, I, they didn't even have to tell me about that. Before the debate, I knew what to do. If you run into uh, trouble, you, you just you blame it on the Russians. That's what you do. I knew that. But they, they, they were looking out for me. My buddies at the FBI and the CIA. It's no harm, no foul. That's how I do it. I get by with a little help from my friends. I get high with a little help from my friends. I'm going to try with a little help from my friends. Do you need any Lee, welcome back to the show. You know, uh, I still wish you weren't here and governor, but what can we do? So who's, who was president at the time? Trump. Who developed this deep state? Why? To get rid of Trump. How is this not considered like a soft coup? Exactly what it is. First red flag, John Brennan signs it. Yes. I remember when something would get signed by former CIA officials and we'd say, well, this has to be true. Yeah. Because there's no way that they would go along with it because they are not political. They would want to protect the institution as being bigger than politics. Mm -hmm. uh, and so many different institutions we see are being eroded by the left. We could talk education. We could talk about the criminal justice system. Uh, but we see it inside the intelligence community. A and now when people see in the future something signed by 51 former intelligence officers, you no longer can say, well, th this has to be true. I'm a former intelligence officer. When, when I signed up to be an intelligence officer, it was for our country. Yeah. It was to protect our national security. It was love of our nation and our freedom. And unfortunately, they're eroding what we love. Yeah, it's true. Like, uh, you know, if you're going to sign something, sign a petition to get, like, Homeland back on Showtime. <laughs> The show is terrible. What are you talking about? Oh, it was I don't know. It's show. the same. No, it wasn't. Homeland was a great show. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You don't want to go down this road. Carrie with face. <laughs> the first one. season was amazing. But then they killed Brody, and it was all down. That, yeah, that's true. Yeah, the, we don't our know. Intel, <laughs> our intelligence officials are about as crazy and stupid as the people on Homeland. Mm -hmm. That's what bothers me about this: is the complete lack of common sense mm -hmm. among these intel officials. Hunter Biden, there were photos in the original report. You know, the cigarette? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Hunter Biden is a crack-huffing, corrupt, oily, a reprobate mm -hmm. who had to get a brand new set of teeth for his daddy to run for president so he looks slightly less repellent. And you're going to vouch in this letter and say it's not Hunter Biden's laptop? You know that's going to blow up in your face, like referring your nephew for a job at your employer, because you know that skeeve is going to smack the HR lady on the ass and call her sugar cushions, and you're going to get fired. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. You know, sugar cushions, that was my nickname uh, in high school. 
It still is behind your back. It is, it is. Yes. <laughs> That's why they, when I'm in high school, I meant like 10 years ago. <laughs> All right, Pyro, how Hi. are you? What's up, sugar cushions? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Yeah. Still selling some real estate on the side? No, me, Will, Kane, and you. <laughs> yeah. We go out. We work for Coldwell Banker. You know what's amazing? We just joke is we all look like real estate agents, or at least he does. On a show five weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's a callback. So um, the media was salivating over smoking guns on Trump, that, and they never found one, right? And now here's a smoking gun, this letter, but it's under Biden, and somehow not interested. I mean, you can't, you can't betray your media bias more clearly. But it's also that instance of, hey, we're doing the thing that is wrong, so we're going to accuse the other side of doing the thing that is wrong, even yes. though there is no evidence of the other side doing that thing. But I think Lee really hit the nail on the head when he talked about the top levels of the intel agencies basically betrayed the trust that America has put in those agencies over the cost of decades, all to win a debate talking point, because they were so consumed with not having Trump ruin their institutional power for another four years. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to break it down to that base level to see what they did. And why did they do it? Well, one, they wanted Trump out, but two, there are no consequences to anybody on the left for doing that. Can you think of one prosecution that any of those people who did anything to Trump with the Russian collusion narrative has been put through? I'll wait. I don't know. Yeah. And that's the problem. If there's no consequences to the upper levels, there's no consequences to the criminals on the streets in New York City. Our country's descending into chaos, and it's wrong. Yeah. And you know what? They act like it's God's work, Kat. Like, even though they knew it was wrong, like that dude Peter Strzok, you know, the insurance policy dude, it's like, oh, but we are, you know, we are, we are doing the right thing, so we'll be rewarded somewhere, Kat. Yeah. It just sucks that all the rest of us got to do all of our debates and arguments on our own. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You know how many times I'd love to be like, oh, yeah, boom, memo from the feds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's true. You know, I got to be coming up with all this stuff all by myself. That's true. That's it's true. It's just crazy. He straight up says, I'm trying to do this for the campaign. Right. I'm doing this to try to influence the election to go the way that I want it to go. He straight up says that, which is very different from what the letter said. Mm -hmm. The letter was so like, well, you know, like it was like, well, I'm, you're an idiot if you don't think this. Yeah. So they all think we're really stupid, and we've, we've obviously known that for a while, but it's completely ridiculous and unfair and upsetting. Just saying we're doing this for the campaign and all those people did it, that, that has they to be. They all know? I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, well, I guess it, well, they're, all of those people that signed it were looking forward to getting some kind of work somewhere else. So they knew that if you got people like Brennan in charge, like anybody asking you, you have to maintain those, you know, those relationships so you're influenced. It's, 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 it's got to be illegal. I don't know. What do I know? I'm not a lawyer. No, but no. you probably would be if you had a memo from the feds. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.